Welcome to the Bruce Williams channel. I am fortunate to have the recent high beat release from Longines on the desk in front of the camera today. This is the Ultracron, new for 2022 and retailing at $3,700, so quite a substantial price for this mid-level Swatch Group brand. We're gonna get to whether I think this is worth it or not near the end of the video. But first, let's talk about the good elements. We'll talk about the details. We'll talk about the specifications and the dimensions. Uh, let's start again with the things that Longines did really well with this recent release. I love that retro design here from 1968. I love the fact that it's a no date. I don't think we see enough no date executions on the market, but again, that is personal preference. You may disagree with me on that. I like the fact that the Swatch Group is entering the high beat scene. There are very few brands that do a traditional high beat these days regularly. That comes down to Grand Seiko and Zenith. So Longines is in very good company here with this true high beat. I like this grains of rice style bracelet and the fact that this comes with an additional strap in the large wood presentation box. I like the fact that Longines is making good use of dual applied anti-reflective treatment on this proud sapphire crystal. This is not normal for Longines. Sometimes they do decent ARC, but oftentimes I'm always left wanting more from this brand. So I like that. And I like the fact that this is not a limited edition. This is not a boutique exclusive, which many brands, including some from the Swatch Group, engage in when they have something fun to release that's different and that captures the imagination of watch enthusiasts. So this one is a fun retro inspired release with a significant high beat movement within the case and it's readily available within the Longines authorized distributorship. So nice job on those elements. Now we have a 43 millimeter cushion case here, good finishing, 13.6 millimeters in case height and that's to the top of the proud sapphire crystal. 22 millimeter lugs, and this will weigh in at 186 grams on this grains of rice style bracelet, so quite hefty. You definitely don't forget that you're wearing this watch. It has a solid weight and a solid stance, a lot of light play, and I'm drawn toward that as a watch enthusiast. Sometimes I want to watch that disappears. That's very comfortable, very lightweight, but oftentimes I want that heft, I want that lie play, I want that presence. And this new Ultracron has those elements. Now again, we have a proud sapphire crystal here with the good ARC. We have a sapphire covered bezel insert with red indexing. And uh, just because of the sapphire insert, it makes the red indexing appear to float at certain angles. The bezel insert is partially loomed and the watch will have 300 meters of water resistance. There are applied markers at the 12, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock positions and then printed markers on the other hour indexes. We have again a cushion case, a wood presentation box, an included extra strap, an included tool for making the bracelet change, and this dial carries a very pleasant flat black texturing, which is a nice backdrop for the two appliques here, the winged hourglass logo and the high frequency applique. We have good use of red as the accent color with a red minute hand, slightly reflective finish. And again, the red is also found in the bezel indexing. We also have a red stripe in the included fabric strap. We have a signed screw down crown, an engraved case back, and the watch will have a five-year warranty. Now let's talk about that movement. This again is pretty significant. We don't see a true high beat very often from multiple brands. This one beats at five hertz or 36,000 times every hour or 10 times every second. The movement will have 25 joules and a 52 hour power reserve, which is pretty decent for a true high beat. We also have a monocrystalline silicon hairspring which will carry anti-magnetic properties that is always welcome in my opinion as a watch enthusiast. And again, Longines joins the few true high beat movement makers, Grand Seiko and Zenith. This is certified an ultra chronometer by Time Lab in Geneva. Time Lab is an independent organization and this must pass a five position, three temperature test 
that takes place over 15 days while the movement is cased. The COSC is similar, but it is just a, a movement being tested that is not cased. And uh, this ultra chronometer certified by Time Lab needs to pass those testing requirements with an accuracy at the end of that 15 day period of minus four seconds to plus six seconds. Now in closing, let me talk about a couple things that I don't love so much. The big one is the poor loom. Uh, this really isn't anything to be excited about. It's basic superluminova, and it's not a great application. This could also benefit from a toolless micro adjustment system. This one does have micro adjustment positions here, but you will need a traditional tool to make those changes. And I think some would consider the price here, the $3,700 full retail price, slightly offensive for a Longines product. Now, I don't. I don't see it as an offensive price. This is a new high beat movement with nice detail work, a little bit nicer than what we normally see from Longines. And I see this as another retro inspired diver competitor that brings a solid game and it joins the Black Bay 58. It joins the Super Ocean. It joins the Super Ocean Heritage and the Seamaster 300 and many other watches at that $3,500 plus price segment for a retro inspired diver. So for me, it's just more consumer choice. And I think if you're a first time luxury buyer, you will gravitate toward the name brands, the name cachet. You will want an Omega. You will want a Breitling. You will want a Tudor. But if you're past that phase, I think, again, this is just another option for you to consider. And it's a fun option. So a solid release from the Swatch Group. And I am looking forward to seeing what they do next with this L836 movement. I hope to see it in more models in the future. So guys, reach out with any questions you may have about this Ultracron from Longines. And if you're shopping for a Longines, I will recommend exquisite timepieces in Naples, Florida. They're an excellent Longines authorized dealer with a good selection that lent this watch in for presentation. So a link to their site will be in the description of the video. Link to their social media will also be in the description of the video. Have a great day. And I'll see you guys next time.